so let us learn about the what is the against the movement and with the movement in the retinoscopy so first of all let's say we have this case scenario where the, the patient is having a minus 3 diopter sphere and minus 2 diopter cylinder and cylinder is at 90 degree okay so in this case we have minus 3 diopter here minus 3 diopter here in the horizontal and vertical axis and because minus 2 diopter cylinder is at 90 degree so it would act at 180 degree so remember cylinder always act perpendicular to the axis which it is given okay so the it would be like something like this okay so minus 3 diopter here and minus 5 diopter here in the horizontal axis so what would be this so this would be something which is a against the rule astigmatism okay why it is against the rule astigmatism because here the myopic power is more in the your horizontal axis okay now we would talk about the refraction where whether it would be uh, with the glow or against the glow so remember if you are doing it at one meter then at the neutralization point so that means when there is a minus one diopter myopia there would be a neutralization okay so that means that when the refractive power of the patient is minus one diopter so when we do the streak movement so the streak movement would not be uh, even when you basically move the streak to the right or left the fundus glow would be constant okay if the patient is having myopia which is more than minus one diopter then it would be basically having a something which is against the movement okay so when you move the streak to the uh, right the glow would go towards the left okay so this is when the myopia is more than minus one if the myopia is less than minus one zero or if it is a hypermetropia it would be basically have something which is with the glow okay so the movement of streak as well as the movement of your glow would be in the same direction